when do you get to be on a boat where usually the capacity is 22, but there's only gonna be 15 of us on board. Out of those 15, only two aren't part of the Hook to Cook family. So it's just gonna be a really cool time. The idea is we're gonna be able to work together and everyone's gonna be nice and respectful and it's just gonna be a good time. So stay tuned guys, this is gonna be epic. Once Fetty hit, gets here, we're, we're hitting the road and then showing you guys the conditions and see this whole potentially epic trip unfold. So much bait. They like started scooping like 10 minutes ago and they're still scooping. So this is Mr. Henry Bully. You've seen him in previous episodes, Kachuma Lake. You can click up here if you want to see those videos. But tell us about uh, the prize that you've uh, put together for us. Oh, just a little, uh, kept a little bit of my stimulus check available and uh, sent Edward up some money to grab a couple of $75 gift certificates from Been There, Caught That, support the local business, and then uh, Get some hook to cook gear from Edward. Support Edward with his great channel, keeping up the good work. Yep, so um, right now, it's biggest yellowtail, biggest white sea bass, gets a $75 gift card from Been There Caught That. There is contingencies, we'll go over that if that doesn't happen, but it's gonna happen. And then uh, we're gonna do a random giveaway to one of the hook to cook family on the boat. We're gonna give away a hook to cook hoodie, hat, and shirt. So they'll be all decked out. Let's get to fishing. We're almost there. While we were filming Chef. that intro, Captain Sean heard over the radio that someone had just caught a white sea bass out of this area. So we started to use dropper loops to try and catch one. We spent about 30 minutes fishing this area. Is it Sandy Bottom over here? We did not get any results. So we continued to drive around to look for something like else. Over there. Seem to have missed that little bit of a window, haven't we? Over there. Over there. Over there. But Captain Sean. Still looking for them, but can't help but taking this beautiful scenery. Looks like the game plan is we're gonna still find some. All right. Here, guys, gonna be a nice, lively bait and patient. Change your baits often. Your fly line and get it back in the current. Get stuck in the kelp, you guys. Pull straight down towards the water. Fly lining. Fly lining. We're anchored up. Let's do this. Get baited up, he says. Get into the water in the water. Throwing some bait. Oh, yeah. Line out. There we go. Does he eat it? Oh yeah, there you go. No, oh there you go, got him. No. There he is. Yee. All right, this will be easy. All right, buddy, let's see when you get bigger. I got one, short. Ooh, there he is. There he is. Oh! Broke me off. Too much. Too much. I missed the whole thing, damn it, but that's a good one. I'm number six. Nice. That's a good looking fish. Yeah. Hell yeah. First keeper, yeah, number six, thank you. That was dope. Ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting, oh yeah! Did you see him take that? That was sick! That was sick! 
Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah. That was dope. Literally watched it. Watched him eat it. That was sick. Does this look like a keeper? Another nice bath. We're up to six. Is this a keeper? Yeah, that's good. <sighs> Plenty good. Oh, yeah. Whoa, sea bass. Nice, brother. Wow. Solid sea bass. Wow. Hell yeah. Number on this guy. Nice. Good sea bass right there. Good one. Yeah, one in there. Dude, that thing ate the squid, huh? Trying to get them into a frenzy here. They're metering fish below, either white sea bass or yellowtail, trying to get enough bait in the water to where they start a feeding frenzy. Got like 30 scoops in here, so might be able to make something happen. That's the luxury. Well, we stopped here next to the kelps. Uh, caught four, three shorts, one keeper. That's about all I can say. We're gonna keep trying for some more. Hopefully we do a little better. Time to move, see if we can't uh, put together another kind of bite. But that's the crazy thing about the islands is there's so many different species that you can target, so it's pretty crazy. Oh, right guide, right guide. After re-watching this footage, you can just tell that Angel is such a seasoned angler. Most guys would have definitely lost this fish. Yeah. You can see as he's working this fish, he's having to pull it through all of these kept patties. That means that he has to have extreme patience, but also keep the right amount of tension on the line as he's bringing it in, or else that hook could pop out of that fish's mouth. <laughs> How do you have 30. Sliding through the kelp on Ooh, he's out. There you go, he's sliding through, there you go. Oh, there you go, game one, you can't. Go, 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 go. Get him. Get him, Angel. There you go, right there. Do we see color yet? Do we see color, guys? Big pole of... Yeah, it's right up. Big wraps up in that cup right there. There he is. There he comes. There he is. There he is. Ooh. Color, color. Seat. Hey, it's a seat. Seat pass. Drag it in. Wine, 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 wine. Go, go, go. Hit him. Hit him. Big step. Oh, that's a nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Gage, grab the net. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. You got it. Go, go, go. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's a keeper. Jump in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. 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 Yeah. Nice. Tell you, Angel. Yeah. And you almost yeah. didn't come. I know. Yeah, I gotta throw him back. It's too small. <laughs> That's impressive, dude. Through the weeds. Good fight, good handle. Oh, COVID-19, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, dude, I'm proud of him, dude. Well, you know, hey, somebody on the chip had to catch it. As mentioned earlier in the video, when one species is not biting, there's always a chance to get something else. Yep. So after Angel caught that white sea bass, we tried multiple different spots after that, but we ended up at this specific location where we got on some really good calico bass. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah. More seaweed, more seaweed. Yeah, dang it. Dude, I was just retrieving it back in and got another nice little cow cover. Shoo! Nice fish. There you go. This is redemption. Boom. 
That's what's up. Yeah. Ooh, dude. I was, oh man. That was freaking sick. That was dope. Oh no. Oh. It all it all happened in slow mo. Hey, so you want to make earrings or no? Earrings out of the little. You gonna make them or what? Yes, Ken. If you're gonna wear them, I'll have her make them for you. Well, you have to wear them. I'm just saying. If she makes them, you have to wear them. He's like, nah, just throw it away. <laughs> What Albert and Angel were referring to just then was the pair of otoliths inside the white sea bass's head. This is a trophy for those who catch big white sea bass. You can remove them from the head of the white sea bass and keep them as mementos of your catch. They're really cool. Oh, we can make a necklace with this, dude. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, that's a, that's a perfect earring, dude. Yeah, like I'm gonna wear earrings, bro. Why not? <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah, nose pierce. Nose pierce. What, what, what no, no, no. Or your hey, what's that? Your navel. You can put on your belly button, angel. Headstones. He can put on his belly button. Angel wants to put this on his belly button. He says. <laughs> Check out the welcoming party right there. <laughs> Glenn's a one-man welcoming party. <laughs> Thank you very much, Glenn. Hey, don't mess it. Oh, oh. Yeah, after we got back, Glenn treated us to an amazing pizza joint down in Ventura. It was super great. This is what it's all about. It's all about the community, having fun, going out and enjoying the water with really good friends. But now, let's make some calico sashimi. Just a quick disclaimer, two things. First, Calico bass are typically a catch and release fish. This is actually going to be the first time trying it. And then next, if you're gonna eat any fish raw, be sure you know what to look for in the meat. You're totally safe on these fish. They don't usually keep parasites that are transferable to human beings. But again, if you don't trust yourself, only eat raw fish prepared by a sushi chef. A lot of people ask why we take the spines off the top before we scale them, and this is why. Most fish on their dorsal fin have really spiky dorsals that can hurt you when you're scaling your fish. And then also, when we, <laughs> the reason we scale fish before uh, we fillet them is it keeps your knife a lot sharper when you cut through just skin instead of skin and scales. Scales can really dull out your knives. So I've been super curious about how this fish tastes as a sashimi. And uh, what I've heard is that the meat actually has some crunch to it. So that's what I'm most curious about. It's not so much the flavor, but the texture of the fish. Hopefully it comes through really well as a sashimi. A lot of people ask why we cut the heads off of our fish before we fillet them. Uh, it's because if the head was still here and you were to turn it over, it would misalign that spine and it'll make it so that you miss a lot of the meat close to the head. So it makes it a lot easier when that spine is completely flat on your cutting surface. Really quick, these are called pin bone tweezers and we'll be able to pick out those pin bones. Major tip is leave the skin on your fish when you pull out those pin bones because that's gonna allow you to pull out the pin bones without splitting the meat. If you were to try to pull the pin bones out after you've already skinned the fish, you risk splitting that in half and kinda, kinda defeats the whole purpose. This allows you to keep the whole filet all intact. Well, I wasn't quite recording. <laughs> Oops. But this is the sashimi calico bass. So, pretty stoked to try this. Let's give it a shot. By no means am I a sushi chef like some of the guys who watch this, Leroy and Chris Fishdish and Taku, but let's just say that is not too bad. Today, we're just gonna go with the good old soy sauce and a lot of wasabi 
love wasabi. So this is exciting, got a little bit of rice. Let's go, let's do it. This piece looks like a winner. Could have filleted it a little bit nicer too, but. Ooh. It almost has an oyster flavor. Yeah, it tastes like a shellfish. Doesn't really taste like fish. Wow, yeah. It definitely has a shellfish flavor. It does not taste like tuna or anything else that I've had as a sashimi. Dude, that's exciting. And then uh, Leroy was talking about how it has a little bit of a crunch. Yeah, it's definitely more of a firm fish. Ooh. Oh yeah. Dip it in the little wasabi. Oh man. Have some rice by hand. Catch it in your beard like that. Oh, <laughs> winning. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's good. Filipino style, eating it with your hands. Let's get that piece. Save, save that one for later. Oh, but that calico is super flavorful. Man, let's give that another try. Now fully with wasabi and soy sauce. Oh yeah, that's a win. Uh, but a little bit about today's video. Um, man, it was high hopes at the beginning, super high hopes. But once we got on that boat and we had the Hook to Cook family on that boat, it was always an amazing time, whether you're catching fish or you're not. But the weather was amazing too, so that was great. And then also Angel's White Sea Bass. Uh, the other guy, there was actually two people on the boat who weren't part of the Hook to Cook family. Uh, they did end up catching a white sea bass as well. So we definitely had plenty of action. Uh, our buddy Carlos ended up catching a sheep head, which we didn't get on camera because he was on the front of the boat, but uh, that was awesome. He actually won was one winner. We had two prizes. We had two $75 gift certificates to been there, caught that. Uh, that Henry Bully from our past Kachuma videos, uh, he donated two $75 gift cards and a a uh, $75 gift certificate to the Hook to Cook merchandise store, which these just came out. Check them out. What do you guys think? Leave that in the comments below. But, so we have Tim Harrell who won that prize. Angel, of course, won the top prize. He won the, the boat uh, jackpot as well. Not sure how much that came out to, but there were only 15 people on this boat, which was the craziest part is it was such a limited load due to COVID that there was so much room on this boat. We weren't like stacked on top of each other uh, like normal charters. So it was amazing. Everything lined up, everything was great. It's just the yellow tail bite uh, was not on. And they're really a hard species to target because they're constantly moving. They're pelagic species. They don't really stay in one exact spot. So every time you go out for them, you have to look. And uh, they just more didn't want to play, but we'll try it again. We're definitely gonna try it again soon. But this sashimi, going back to the sashimi, it's a really good way to eat the calico because it's definitely got a different flavor to it other, compared to other fish and the texture is very, very firm. So if you guys have an opportunity to try calico bass, sashimi, give it a shot. It's gonna go down. Definitely. That's like cowboys? Came with the same hook though. Well, let's not go there. Hey, hey, look, look. your shorts yeah. match Fetty's boots. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Y'all need a swap. <laughs> Let's swap switch. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna give him your shorts. <laughs> I probably won't fit in his shorts. <laughs> Look at this excited guy right here. <laughs> you won't find anybody more excited than me? No sleep. No sleep. Bro. Zero sleep. Bang energy drinks. Gonna have a beer on the boat as soon as we get on there. I know. I felt it. Oh, 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 that means yeah, good luck now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, baby, not to lick it. Oh, you're gonna do it. Doing it. Oh, look, that was uh, that was fish, yeah, baby. That was like fish. Sticky, too. What time is it? 
Beer 30. Technically, it's 9.30. 9.30. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Martin. Freaking yeet.